welcome to another episode of the Live Today Show. I'm Dr. Cherie, your host of the Live Today Show and founder of the Live Today Foundation. Now, the Live Foundation, Live Today Foundation was birthed out of a need that I discovered um, when I was diagnosed with breast cancer and subsequently diagnosed with a disease called lymphedema. Uh, lymphedema results when all of your lymph nodes uh, or even a portion of your lymph nodes are destroyed uh, by cancer or by cancer treatment. Uh, all of my lymph nodes in my right armpit were destroyed throughout my uh, breast cancer treatment and I developed uh, severe swelling of my right arm, hand, and fingers. And in my travels, I discovered that there were plenty of people out there who were cancer survivors and they did not know that they had lymphedema. They just attributed to some swelling and went on with life, uh, not really sure what they had, just knew that they were impacted by it, uh, but weren't really sure that there was anything to do for it. And then I discovered some physicians who saw me wearing my compression garments. Now granted, I bling mine out. I figured if I got to wear it, I might as well look cute while doing it, right? Um, but they were confused as to why I was wearing this garment. Lymphedema never even popped up in their mind as a diagnosis. And then I met so many individuals who uh, may have known what they had, knew that they needed to be treated with compression garments, but compression garments can run you anywhere from $280 for you know, a set if your lymphedema is not so bad, to $2,500 if you need custom garments. This is a custom-made garment. And so individuals may have been properly diagnosed, but they had no way of affording uh, their compression garments. So during my travels as an international professional speaker, hearing these stories, my heart went out to so many individuals, and I just had to come up with a way that I could bless this community in some kind of way. And so I founded and formed uh, this nonprofit, this 501c3 nonprofit organization called the Live Today Foundation. And we do three things. One, we educate physicians and other healthcare practitioners on how to properly diagnose lymphedema and to make them aware of all of the other psychosocial impacts of lymphedema on a survivor's life. Uh, we have to change our clothes that we wear. We have to change how we wear our hair. It changes our ability for some of us in what we cook, how we cook. Some of us have lost our jobs, our careers. We are reminded of our cancer journey every single time we don a compression garment. It is reliving this whole experience over and over again. And so those are some of the things that physicians just weren't aware that their patients were still living through years beyond their diagnosis and treatment. And so we make them aware of it because when they are aware, they can now uh, think about ways and other resources that they can provide to their patients so that their journey with lymphedema does not have to be so difficult and so arduous. Uh, secondly, we educate patients about the importance of treatment. No, this is not just some swelling. If not appropriately treated, the swelling will get worse. If you get a cut or burn uh, on that uh, lymphatic um, affected limb, you now could develop severe infection, cellulitis, infection that gets into the bloodstream. Getting into the bloodstream can spread elsewhere throughout your body and you can become septic individuals can die from sepsis. And so I, I thought it was important that individuals knew what the appropriate treatment was because how shameful would it be for an individual to beat the battle of breast cancer or pancreatic cancer or lung cancer or squamous cells, skin cancer or whatever form of cancer and now be subjected to death because of sepsis because they did not know how to properly treat lymphedema. And then lastly, we provide free, F-R-E-E, -E, yes, free, I'll say it a third time, free compression garments to under-resourced cancer survivors facing financial difficulties, um, living below the poverty line, uh, and they just need financial help in getting the compression garments. So we provide free compression garments to individuals 
in need of help. And when I say free compression garments, I mean these are top-notch compression garments provided by the, the same compression garment manufacturers you would encounter out there. Thankfully, they have partnered with the Live Today Foundation and you simply let us know what you need. We send you a link, show you how to properly measure yourself. Some of you may even have a physical therapist that can do the measurements. And then you get to go to a link where you pick out your own designs, your own colors. You should send us your mailing address, pow. We let them know what your order is and your garments are shipped directly to you. Now, for those of you that want to know a little bit more about the Live Today Foundation, please go out to our website at www.live-today.org. If you or a family member or someone you know are in need of compression garments, this is where I need you to put on your thinking caps. You may be thinking, you know what? I know a woman and her, her right arm is always bigger than her left. And I, I think she said she may have had breast cancer before, or somebody is always, they walk with a slight limp and it looks like their left leg is bigger than their right. And I think they may have said something about having been treated for colon cancer or prostate cancer. Put it all together and make that uh, recommendation to that individual that if they believe they have lymphedema or if they know that they have lymphedema, but they are unable to afford the compression garments, shoot us an email at info at live-today.org. Let us know what they are in need of. We will take it from there. You can also give us a call at 754-220-0234. For those of you on social media, please follow us and reach out to us. Comment. Let us know what you think about the show. Make suggestions for individuals to have on the show. Uh, make suggestions for topics that you would like for us to cover. You can follow us on social media at Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at live I'm sorry, at livetoday.org. That's live today, D O T O R G. You can also follow us on YouTube. Uh, just look up the Live Today Show or the Live Today Foundation, and you will find all of our recorded sessions there for you. And if there were any additional resources that we talked about in the show, you will find those resources in the show notes. And so the past, the previous two uh, shows that have been recorded, I presented to you COVID-19 financial assistance for people living with cancer. I did part one and part two. And so today I'm gonna close up this series with part three. We have now, I think, have gone through resources a through P. We may have some more P's, I'm not really sure. Um, but these resources have been made uh, known to me. And I want to, wanted to share them with you, especially during this time. Now, as additional resources become available, I become aware, or programs go away, I will be sure as I am informed, I will also inform you. So let's go ahead, let's jump right on in. Let's look at COVID-19 financial assistance for people living with cancer, part three. So who's gonna be the first resource? Let's see. First resource, the Pink Fund. Yes, the Pink Fund. There is their 1-800 number, 877-234-7465. When you are applying for financial help from the Pink Fund, here's some things to keep in mind. Patients must be in active treatment, as defined by the Pink Fund, for their breast cancer diagnosis. So if you are a patient living with and are in treatment for breast cancer, you want to listen. And if you know of individuals who are currently in active treatment right now for breast cancer, listen up. The Pink Fund may be just what they need. Patients must have been working at the time of diagnosis and are able to show a loss of income due to their breast cancer diagnosis. It may be a leave of absence, it may be reduced hours. Uh, patients must be actively undergoing treatment throughout the funding. And applicants must have a household income of 500% or less 
of the federal poverty level uh, based on last year's federal tax return. There is a chart to view to help you determine if you qualify. So if you're looking at that number 500% or less of the federal poverty level and trying to figure out, I don't even know if I would qualify, when you go to their website, the pinkfund.org forward slash get dash help, there is a chart there and you can quickly just look up what your uh, income was look and see where it falls on the chart and that way you will be able to determine if you are eligible to apply for financial help from the pink fund then the sontag foundation for brain tumor patients we have not forgotten about them sontag this program will provide financial support to patients affected with the brain tumor diagnosis or their caregivers who have been impacted by COVID-19. This fund will help eligible patients with the cost of their basic daily needs, including rent, food or mortgage, utility bills, car payments, and other transportation expenses, child care, and temporary lodging for medical appointments. Grants from this fund to patients will be administered by the Patient Advocate Foundation. Remember, I told you the Patient Advocate Foundation is on the move. They have their tentacles in a variety of other foundations. Again, I love the way organizations are not operating in silos, but these grassroots organizations are pulling together to provide the resources necessary to the communities that need it the most. Now, patients who meet certain eligibility criteria will re receive a grant of $500. Grants will be provided on a first come, first serve basis until funds are expended. Now, in addition to the emergency fund, the Sontag Foundation's sister organization, the Brain Tumor Network, otherwise known as BTN, is available to provide compassionate and personalized high-touch navigational services to adult individuals and their caregivers who have been impacted by a primary brain tumor diagnosis. The Brain Tumor Network's services are provided free, F-R-E-E, -E, let me say it again, free of cost by a multidisciplinary team of dedicated healthcare professionals. These services include providing personalized clinical trial searches, facilitating second opinions, providing treatment and diagnoses related information, as well as psychosocial education and support. I am telling you, getting past your financial difficulties is paramount. I understand it wholeheartedly, which is why I'm sharing these resources with you. But I want you to know that the Live Today Foundation uh, would not be remiss in acknowledging that the mental health state that we are living in now because of everything that we are attempting to juggle right now, the mental health struggle is real. And sometimes just having the resource that you can call in, share, connect with other individuals who have either one, they're going through the same thing you're going through. One, you don't feel as isolated. Two, they're going through the same thing you're going through, but they may have resources or connections you weren't aware of and vice versa. And then three, connecting with individuals that have been where you've been, but they're now on the other side. So you're now able to witness a testimony and know that I can make it through because I see someone who has been where I've been. They've gotten past it. And that individual is there to help hold my hand as I'm going through this process. This is the reason why I share the Sontag uh, foundation information with you because I thought that the BTN, the Brain Tumor Network Services, uh, which they provide free of cost, is so extremely important. You will get a dedicated team of healthcare professionals, multidisciplinary team, um, and, and have services like 
personalized clinical trial researches. That you may be interested in, in being involved in a, in a clinical trial. You may be at a point, or your loved one may be at a point, where they have exhausted all known treatment options for their brain tumor. And a clinical trial may be the only opportunity for them to try something that may give them either the cure and or the quality and additional time in life uh, that they are in need of. And so they will be available to do free personalized clinical trial searches. They will help facilitate getting second opinions. They will facilitate in providing treatment and diagnose related information. Sometimes you've just gotten diagnosed. Sometimes your physician is recommending a treatment. You don't fully understand it. The visit seemed to be abrupt. It was short or it was an hour long, but your brain was filled with all of this new information and you only locked in on five important points. Now that you're at home, you have all of these additional questions and you're wondering, okay, well, uh, I didn't, I, I should have asked this. I should have asked that. Well, the Sontag uh, Foundation via the Brain Tumor Network can help provide treatment and diagnose related information. So if you've left out of the office and now you have questions, you can now reach them. And then they can also provide that psychosocial education and support. Just imagine, uh, you being a person living uh, with a brain tumor diagnosis at this time and or a family member at a time when, you know, there may have been treatments that were missed because everything was shut down, treatment that was delayed, you have been furloughed from your job, unemployment has run out, and now that resources are coming together. Let's say you've, you've met the hurdle for the financial assistance. You are now back in treatment and seem to be on a well-established path. That psychosocial uproar, upheaval in your life that was caused by this uh, pandemic, plus your diagnosis at this time, is real. And so even though you may get the resources that you were seeking, that doesn't mean that the impact during the time that you didn't have those resources on your psyche and physiologically on your body weren't real. And unless you deal with those psychosocial impacts, they will have an effect on your life, have effects such as making wrong choices and decisions because you haven't properly dealt with your grief, you haven't properly dealt with uh, lost expectations, you haven't properly dealt with lost family members or lost career. And so having psychosocial education uh, and support is extremely important. And don't lose out on getting the resources that you need, uh, simply thinking that, oh, I'll just deal with it on my own. You don't have to. So remember the Sontag Foundation. Also remember the Brain Tree, uh, Tumor Network. The next uh, organization I want to tell you about is the United Breast Cancer Foundation. Now, UBCF's goal with this program is to support breast cancer patients during this unprecedented time, aiming to make sheltering at home just a little bit easier. Now, this is for male and female breast cancer patients currently in treatment. They are invited to apply to the program. Recipients will receive a variety of online gifts to help with expenses and stress relief. Let me repeat this again. Recipients will receive a variety of online gifts, gifts, G-I-F-T-S. That means it doesn't have to be paid back. It, it's a gift to you. Uh, it is there. This includes of these gifts now to help with expenses and stress relief. I'm telling you, stress is so real. We have to appropriately deal with it. Um, but what they offer, the online gifts that they offer, includes an Amazon gift card, a 60-day free trial to Daily Burn, and a lifetime subscription to the app, Ellie. Daily Burn and Ellie, some people may pronounce it Eli, I don't know which one, I've always said Ellie, are apps aimed to improve people's quality of life. Daily Burn is an app that provides users with access to over 1,000 different daily workouts. Ellie, or Eli, is the first 
empathetic audio companion that aims to help improve cancer patients' overall well-being. Oh my goodness, these are apps that you and I and everybody need in their life. But if you are a male and female breast cancer patient currently in treatment, apply for this program because you can get it. You'll get an Amazon gift card, a 60-day free trial to Daily Burn, and a lifetime subscription to the app Ellie or Eli. Now the Daily Burn, a thousand different daily workouts. You will have access to this for 60 days as a free trial. Ellie, that empathetic audio companion, is a lifetime subscription. And this empathetic audio companion aims to help improve cancer patients' overall well-being. This COVID-19 Emergency Assistance Award is valued at over $700. And so if you are eligible, you are a male or female breast cancer patient currently in treatment, please apply for this program. Now, guys, I want to tell you now, um, I had planned to, to talk about the importance of sharing your story. And... I will say this, that I pray that you are using this time as a time of reflection. This time during this pandemic, when there are self-quarantine, mandates, stay at home, wear your mask out in public places, the, the economy all over the place, um, everything from politics to uh, racial conflicts, to the economy, to population health, it's impacted. And we've all been forced to slow down. Some of us have been attempting to move even in this process, process when we've been mandated in some instances to slow down. And it's been, may have been difficult because you are a go, go type of person. And so to sit still for a little bit this may be a very anxious time for you, and I get that uh, because I'm, I'm guilty of it. But I do hope that you are taking this time of reflection, this time to be still, a time to listen to God and a time to listen to others because sometimes there have been seeds that were planted before. You heard them, eh, something stirred up in you, and then you dropped it. You didn't get back to it. But maybe during this time, Someone else has, again, dropped that same little seed. And then it's awakened something in you that, oh, yeah, somebody else mentioned this a little while ago. Maybe that second time you heard it is your confirmation. And that this is a time during this season when you're forced to slow down that you can actually act on it. I hope that you are seeking for a new vision or new path for your life because things and life as you knew it, it will never be the same. It's a whole new path, a whole new ball game now. Uh, so I'm hoping you're inquiring and seeking what that new vision or new path for your life will be. I'm hoping that you're seeking out what's truly important uh, for your health and well-being and that of your family and seeking out your purpose in life. I've chosen not to share what I was going to share today. I'm going to share it on a later show. Uh, but the reason why I've chosen not to share it was because on the date that this show was taped, uh, this morning, um, I received a call stating that my grandmother had died and she was going to celebrate her birthday on tomorrow. So I already had all types of plans in my head about how I was going to honor her on her birthday. And I come from a family where, you know, we really didn't talk about age and, you know, we kept it on the DL. And, you know, back in the time when, you know, when you were a kid, you wanted to be older. But as you became a woman, you know, it was like, okay, well, we can push our age back because, you know, we you know, wanted to look young. Anyway, uh, 
I've stopped ascribing to that because I'm grateful for my 52 years here on earth. And I think it, uh, I would be remiss in giving God all the honor and all the glory and allowing me to see 52 years if I'm sitting up here trying to make you think that I was 42 or 32. My grandmother on tomorrow would have celebrated 96 years of life here on earth. And God chose to call her home a day before her earthly birthday. And he gave her a heavenly one. But the reason why I'm sharing this with you, I, when I got the call, I didn't know, do I continue with uh, coming in to do the show? Do I, do I cancel everything? And I didn't have peace in doing that because of the title of our show, The Live Today Show. This is how I live and this is how I honor her. Remember, live means to love myself and others, to inspire those around me, to voice my dreams and ambitions, and to enjoy life. I am honoring her years here, and I'm gonna count all 96 of them. I'm honoring her life by being here today. The Honorable Prophet is Dr. Hattie B. Jones, went on to be with the Lord this morning. But I am grateful and thankful for the life and the example that she led and set for me to follow. Uh, she was the first ordained minister, not sorry, not minister, first ordained female pastor in the churches of God in Christ. Uh, the churches of God in Christ came into being back in 1897. She became the first female pastor ordained I believe in the late 70s, early 80s, so almost 100 years later. But because she told her story, other women are now ordained pastors in the churches of God and Christ. I am an ordained evangelist. I have now been able to live out and avoid some of her pitfalls and mistakes because she shared her story. And so, I want to encourage you right now, everyone under the sound of my voice, think about your life or think about times and events in your life that were pivotal. Consider sharing them. I know that there are people that tend to be private. They don't want anybody to know what they've been through, but individuals are watching you, whether you like it or not. You are serving as an example, whether you like it or not. And so sometimes in your silence, your achievements, your choices, your decisions are misunderstood because they don't know where those choices and decisions are coming from. So I encourage you to share your life, share your life story, because it is important. There are other individuals that need to hear what you are going through. They need to hear what you've gone through and to hear the tips and life lessons that you learn so that they can avoid some of those pitfalls. And so I am grateful and thankful today. And I dedicate this show to my grandmother, the, honor the Honorable Prophetess Dr. Hattie B. Jones, who went on to be with the Lord on this morning, July 30th, 2020. I, I honor her. I honor her life and I honor what she planted in me. And that was a seed to serve and a seed for God to get the glory out of my life and a seed for me to be at the mercy of individuals who need what I can provide. And I am able to provide the Live Today Foundation. I'm able to provide of my medical assistance and services. And I am available to provide and show individuals how to let go and live today and every day. And so for those of you that have tuned in to today's show, I am so grateful and thankful for everything that you have done. Uh, it has been truly a journey to be uh, where we are right now. And uh, I can tell you this, uh, being in the studio alone and not having my full team here feels kind of weird. Uh, but we're making it do what it do because we will continue to be a blessing. Now, guys, thank you so much for tuning in to today's show. I want you to remember, be present, take charge of your life, and live today and every day. God bless you. Until next time.